pioneering is doing things that take you far outside your comfort zone, put you at risk, and you have to do it with far less than adequate resources. And you do it not for yourself, but for those around you and for those who will follow after you. So when we go into a county to tell those stories, we tell the stories of those who created the county and founded the settlements there. But as we did this with Kane County, we discovered that there's a modern pioneering story down there that is not only an amazing story, but it's a m means of delivering the rest of the stories. Kanab, as small as it is and as remote as it is, it has its own symphony orchestra. You've got the pharmacist, he is the conductor, and everybody, of course, has different roles to play in life, but when they all get together, it's a beautiful thing. There are a lot of very talented people that give of their time. We play throughout the year, and this is something that enriches not only the community, but our own lives. And so we decided to honor their 30th anniversary by asking Merrill Jensen to compose a symphonic suite that will help to tell the stories for King County. What this overture really contains is a series of orchestral pieces that wrap around original songs that were composed and sung about actual things happening in the Kane County area. Stories about life and about their way of survival. Use it up, wear it out. I am singing a part um, portraying Mary Chamberlain, who was the mayor of the first all women's towns council in Kanab. It was the first one in the whole U.S. and a really interesting lady. Just a shack in the shade of a cottonwood tree. On I loved the one about the rollaway saloon. This saloon set on the border between Utah and Arizona. And when the Relief Society from, from Kanab came down to stop them from selling spirits, they would roll the saloon on logs over to the Arizona border. Here comes the roll away saloon. Then there's Levi Stewart, the founder of Kanab. In the first winter that they were there, they moved into this almost finished fort well, right next to the kitchen was the bedroom where five of Levi's sons were sleeping. But during the night, the fire got blown by the, the wind that was whistling through the fort, and it came alive and it started licking up the walls. Levi, rise and listen, rise and listen to the calls. And then it goes on and tells all about them trying to put the fire out, but losing those five sons, and Marjorie, his wife, who dove into the fire to try to save the boys, and then the kerosene and the gunpowder exploded. I, for one, am very proud of my heritage. And I think as each person finds out about their heritage, it gives them strength to carry on. We had no idea what kind of rich heritage there was in this area. We've been here almost 10 years and, and it starts to become a part of us. And we want to be able to share these stories um, about these people with the community and live worthy of their heritage that they left. A Canyon People's Portrait World Premiere takes place April 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. It will be videotaped, so we're creating a documentary of this unique event. And we would ask you to help us create that documentary by pre-ordering a copy. Just go to www.uphearts.org. That's U-P-H-A-R-T-S dot org. And uh, sign up. It's $24.95 for a, a copy of the DVD of this documentary. And we'll take care of the shipping for that price. Uh, better yet, come join us April 1st, 2nd, and 3rd in Kanab. And we'll be telling these stories every night.